Um, I had posted a video on how you take a wheel bearings off off of a uh, motorcycle wheel. I'm going to show you how to put them back on there. Um, I received multiple questions about this along the way. Um, I did one side already to speed up the process of the video. As you can see, uh, it's already got one of the races in there. I mean, the wheel bearing and the uh, <clears throat> the seal. All right, I'm gonna flip it over. When you install this, you're gonna need a uh, obviously a new bearing, and you're gonna need some kind of socket or a metal piece tube that is about the same diameter. It should be the same diameter. Now, I'm gonna show you why. See, in here, this is the, the dust seal that the <clears throat> bearing has, and if you hit it on this blue part here, you're gonna damage the bearing. So, um, if you did here, you're gonna damage it, and you know, it just voids whatever you're thinking about fixing. So you need, really need to get the same diameter, as you can see, it's the same size, okay? Um, and you're gonna need, obviously, a new seal, and you're gonna need high, high temperature uh, wheel bearing grease. And you can get it at your local hardware store. And the hammer. And uh, I bought this at my uh, hardware store. Um, it's a very handy tool. It keeps you from messing around with your seals um, and bending them out of shape because the seals have a little metal piece in here for rigidity. Um, this will keep it from warping out and getting out of shape. All right, so now I'm gonna get this high temp grease here. Um, it's not gonna be going on the bearing, but it's gonna you know, provide a slick uh, surface for the bearing to go in there. You don't want nothing to break. You don't want a wheel to break or nothing like that. Like I said, high temp, all right? As you saw, I already put the other bearing on there. Now, this spacer, as you, if you've seen my prior video, this spacer goes in between here. I'm gonna put some grease in here in the middle, just for the axle when it goes through. It's a little bit cleaner now than what it should be later. You want that to be pretty much lubricated when you start uh, riding it, okay? A bit of quill in there. You don't have to stick your finger all the way in because it will straighten up when you put your axle in there. Now remember to drop that spacer in there because then you're gonna have to pop out your uh, your bearings again if you don't. Okay, put this bad boy here. Let me add some of this bad boy grease right on here. Okay, it's a little messy, but you gotta grease your bearings. Okay, drop that in there. Are you gonna start it off as best as you can? Don't try to put it in there crooked or you know cockeyed like that. It's not gonna go in. You gotta try to get it as centered and straight as you can. All right, now, put that as centered as you can. It's kind of tricky with your hands greasy, but anyway. All right. What I do is I use my hammer flat and just give it kind of a flat. Okay. Look at it. It's already halfway in. What you want to do is you want to tap around you're not hitting right on the same area so it doesn't you know kind of tend to push it sideways okay As you can see it's tight I got it very good there, okay get that one out now what I do so I don't mess up my <clears throat> my bore where the bearing goes I try to get myself another socket pretty good size so that you can get in the middle and not on the dust seal and you're going to go all the way to one edge 
okay? And you're gonna tap. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, as, as you tap it, as you're tapping this, you're gonna want to turn around and spin the socket inside the bearing as you can see. So you can get all the edges and get a flush seal. You can feel in there, you can see that your bearing still, your spacer still kind of loose. I'm gonna give it a few more licks just in case. All right, so that right there is the way you get that in. And now we're gonna put the dust seal. I can get with my greasy hands the pack open. There it goes. This also, you're gonna put some grease on it. All right, on the inner here, and on the outside. You don't gotta to put too much, it's just to lubricate. You don't wanna make a big old mess. All right, so you're gonna place that bad boy in there. Kinda of push it in so it's seated. All right, and now you take your tool here, all right, you just tap. Make sure it's flush. All right. And that should be it. Any questions, comments on the line below? Thumbs up. God bless and good luck.